How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we spent most of our time in Isle Delfino just collecting a bunch of shines here. Today's episode, we're pretty much going to be doing a rinse and repeat of last. We're going to be focusing the majority of our time on Isle Delfino collecting more shine sprites. The first one we're going to do is undoubtedly, and pretty much everyone can, who's played this game can agree with me, is one of the more difficult ones to get. Really, not in terms of the level itself, but just in terms of getting to the location the right way, or at least the way Nintendo wanted you to get to. What we do need is our good old friend Yoshi. Let's give him the fruit that he wants, and we can go ahead and take a ride. Now, where we need to go is to a place we... Alright, where we need to go is to where Noki Bay... You have access to where you have access to Noki Bay. But in order for us to do this part, you have to make sure that the boat system is running properly. And remember when I said it has to be done the way Nintendo said, this part is required. So we just have to wait for the boat to get here. And I guess since the, the boat is taking quite a while, um, we can wait for it to get here. You stop dancing. I'm just trying to wait for the boat. Oh, at least in the meantime, while I'm going ahead and waiting. The reason I'm saying that the way Nintendo wants you to do it is because there are a couple, I guess, um, special and or unique ways of getting over to specific points on that on where we need to make in order to get to the shine without needing too much help. We are required to use Yoshi though. There, I don't believe there's a way to get inside the mission without it. But the boat isn't necessarily required to get there because there are ways you can avoid using it. Um, one thing I will note before I talk a little bit more about it is there is actually a level right up there. But well, we're not going to focus on that yet. I just want to go ahead and focus on this. Since I won't, I will be honest, by the time it hits minute 5 of the video, um, it mo we most likely will be either getting to the shine or just about, you know, completing the shine. It does take quite a while. This is why I'm saying this is the most annoying part of the mission. Because it requires us to use the boat three times. But this is the first one, and honestly, it is the easiest one. Assuming I don't fail that jump. Um, your juice levels will deplete over time. In fact, if you remember that episode back at Serena Beach when I lost Yoshi through the cutaway, it was because I forgot you can lose Yoshi if you don't replenish its fruit in time. If I can, actually... can I can I please get okay, if I just jump there? Are you kidding me? Can I can I please get fruit? Oh my god. Luckily the boat still isn't here yet. There we go. God dang. Um this lady is here. In fact, just because we have a lot of time. If you happen to see any of the piantas with this basket, it does require some blue coin mission. This is required to get all the blue coins. You're supposed to get the fruit that they desire. Hers, conveniently enough, is the coconuts that are up there. Put them in the basket, she'll reward you with coins. Hers is honestly the easiest, and I don't know why she is, isn't bothered to do it herself. She is just a lazy duck, which is why she gets sprayed with Yoshi, because she is a lazy duck. Alright, so this is the second boat. This one will circle around up until we get to that pillar over there. I'll mention it a little bit more. Just make sure you don't miss your flight, and by flight I mean make sure you don't miss your boat ride, and also make sure you don't fall off the boat with Yoshi. Remember when I said Yoshi is sensitive to water, it will die and turn into acid and solidify in the water if you miss your jump. Please. Um, honestly, that first one is really the only important one because you really can't maneuver Yoshi from the ledge over to the island. It's just not possible, even with, I guess, some manipulation. It's just not going to happen, I think. I could be wrong, but I haven't seen it done in any recorded videos that I know of. If there are, please let me know. I just haven't seen any. Um, the part that we are going to get to, while this won't exactly cut the entire... Um, you know, needing Yoshi from the equation of accessing this level, it does make it a little bit shorter in time. Um, what we are going to need to wait for is for this boat to reach over to that ledge. Um, I have seen videos, and I have done attempts for where if you use that sewer pipe right over there, right in front of the Pianta statue, you probably can't see it that well, but if you see like the silhouette of it, or at least the coloring markings, you, um, you can use that to get over to this ledge. It is possible since Yoshi's vertical momentum is just super. I was about to go that. Yoshi's vertical momentum when you pop when you get out of the pipes and even with Mario, it's super high. You reach heights up to I guess level of where the shine gate is, probably towards like the middle of the shine sprite. It is possible. Oh yeah, let me make sure I eat it before I forget. Um, to where you can spin jump and land on here. It's very difficult to get it the first time around, I'll be honest. I've done it before, it's just 
it's really not required too much you do save a little bit of time with yoshi if you are doing it to avoid i guess really the first two ships but it doesn't avoid you needing yoshi at all because you still need him to get over to that island over there which is what the last boat ride is required for you just have to wait for that one honestly this is really the reason why it's the most annoying little little bit of a fun story when i first played this game the very first time around when i was younger i had no clue whatsoever how to even get yoshi over <gasps> i was about to, okay i was about to cry i had no clue i had to get yoshi anywhere near that island i had no clue how the boat system worked i had no clue you even needed the boats to work i had no clue of even had like the idea of needing yoshi to get over there i was stuck and done for years it wasn't until you know like everyone else a youtube video is where i found out that you can actually get yoshi through the boats and actually access the level trust me i am just a horrible gamer when i was younger i had no idea how to connect the dots together it took years to me to learn that but admittedly a lot of you guys will probably already know it by now even if the people that are playing this first time around you will at least have an idea of how to do so if not this guy and then the other guys will already go ahead and let you know how that's done but now that we finally made it over from this last boat you sh hopefully should not miss your jump that would be the most saddest thing to do is you miss your jump i was about to miss my jump and what we do now with yoshi is go ahead and land you see this um lava covered pipe ne this is actually going to be our first introduction not our first proper introduction but our first introduction to seeing a lava what you have to do to get rid of it is use yoshi's acid that's the only way to get through it you spray it and out of nowhere it solidifies and breaks down and you're able to get access oddly enough water won't do it although i guess science does explain that <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and spray this guy oddly enough this guy's weird i was shipwrecked and washed up here three years ago i often think about the far shore but i can't swim i've never left this little island isn't that just awful oddly enough he's not even that far away from civilization but he still manages to still be stuck here what an idiot but regardless we are going to go ahead and access the level that it took like i said it took about like five to six six to seven minutes to get here let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and not waste any more time let's go and even though it took all that pain and misery to get here, we are introduced to one of the most unforgetting levels in Super Mario Sunshine. Not the most difficult, but it's certainly up there in top 10 as one of the most difficult. This level is extremely unforgiving, if you don't do it right. As you can see, the first thing we're greeted to is a lily pad with water. We've seen water hundreds of times. We've landed and jumped and used and been in water for pretty much the, entire of the, the entirety of the series. But we see two skull and crossbone signs. This water is dangerous. It doesn't look it, it really doesn't show it, but trust me, that water is not water you want to land on. Well, the whole point of this mission is you have to use Flood in order to navigate through the lily pads and collect the red coins. Yes, red coin missions. Not great at them, and yet we still gotta do a lot more of them. And already I failed. Okay, so unfortunately the lily pad is pretty much gonna make all its way through and in order for us to actually progress we do have to head back to the start point this this method that i did kind of uh, kind of a little accidentally but pretty much isn't accidental in its own actual way of doing it is making sure you land if you do make a mistake you do have to head all the way back and hope that the lily pad does respond back it typically will um unfortunately you just have to make sure you are able to stay on the ledges properly and just wait um you will have to wait for the lily pad um, oh, there we go. I was about to say, if it took too long, I was gonna about to cut out. But just because of the amount of times I will end up having a family to get the coins, I will have to cut a couple times just to make sure that I'm getting them, just to not waste too much time on this one. So. The sad thing is with this one is, if I can make sure I angle my camera right, is that if you're not careful, the lily pads... Oh, oh come on, come on. Okay, now I'm not gonna make it. Okay. <gasps> oh, okay. So as you can see, it took me four, two times just to get four coins and we still have four more to get and the lily pad still has to make a way to travel. Um, I'll go ahead and just cut to when I get back to the start so that way we can go ahead and, well, let me go ahead and cut over to the start and I'll be back with you guys in just a second so I can spend a little bit more. Alright guys, back for a quick and helpful hint to avoid you seeing me doing this level ten times. I did die three times, I had to grab the, the live stream. 
it just took too long but i am going to go ahead and show you one trick that probably many other people have done and i'm going to go ahead and show you now is if you do jump if you do jump if you do jump your times correctly okay not like that not like that not like that oh okay make sure you don't run out of water doing this if you do jump your your if you do time your jumps correctly how many times did i have to not say that correctly okay if you time it go ahead and you can go ahead and hover across and actually land successfully right be mindful of your water level though as you can see i have enough to really mess me up so i'm just gonna have to walk my way back over instead of hovering like i was kind of doing i only have one coin left and after doing that a couple times the last one is at the very end of the level um i technically don't have to but i'd rather comfortably walk all the way toward actually you know what i'm gonna walk all the way towards the end because this level sucks so um while i very 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 carefully walk over and hope to not die give me a few minutes and i'll be meeting you guys back at the very end of the level see you guys in one second Alright guys, I am back at towards the very end of this portion of the level. One thing you probably will pay attention to, and I thought that was very interesting, is that at the very end it just spits out all the water, and it just falls down to oblivion. I don't get why it does that, I don't know why it was designed that way. And also, oddly enough, it looks very dirty and bad, but it's super clean towards the end, so I don't, I don't understand the connection. I'm not going to spend any more time here though, but I will also mention one thing as well. If you notice at the very start of the level, you just see a bunch of the water pipes that are responsible for spitting the water out just coming out of oblivion as well. This level is just filled with weird stuff. Let's just go ahead and collect the last red coin. One thing I will also add before I collect, while I'm collecting the shine sprite, is be careful when- <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that was so scary. Is be careful if the last coin you're collecting is not that one because any of the ones that you collect while midair you will lose your momentum and 99 at 99 times out of 100 you will end up falling in the water and dying just please be careful when doing this level it's super annoying the way to get here is annoying but we still got the shine which is undoubtedly in my top 10 is one of the most annoying and difficult ones to get but it is not the most annoying and difficult to get because we are yet to come across it but it is admittedly very easy when you know a strat and can actually do it. But we're going to hold off on that because we're not there yet. We're going to go ahead and focus on getting some more shines here. And while one secret level is down and out, and admittedly that took nearly the, entire, the entirety of the episode, let's go ahead and collect one more from a secret level, which is admittedly not a secret level in its own. But the way to get there is not really the way you would have... is not really what most people would have thought is actually an accessible area and when i first played this game the first time around i did not know it was there um you don't need the rocket nozzle to get here but you can go ahead and use it just to get here very quickly in fact there are some strats you can do to actually get to this location without the need of it um i personally can't do it because i'm bad at these kind of strats but if you're all able to do it go ahead there's many videos out there that can do it but we're gonna go ahead and enter the pipe because we're not gonna waste any more time we already spent so much just getting to the first level this one is this weird location out of nowhere but the main name of the game is collecting some red coins you probably saw one at the beginning like i did is it this guy this guy actually has some very interesting voice dialogue. I've been searching for Red Bird for of happiness for some 38 years now. Yep, it's been a long, long road. The thing is, I've been feeling late. I've been feeling lately like I'll never catch up with it. He has a very interesting like voice dialogue. He's the only one of the Piantas that has that unique like sound animation. If that makes sense, no other Pianta actually has that for some reason. Oh, here it is. I was like, I know it's here. Okay, let me get out of here. Uh, I honestly don't remember where all the red coins are. I'm gonna try my best to find them all, I think. Out of here. Um, but while I was explaining that, he's the only one that has that. No other male Pianta has anything near as unique as that voice, oddly enough. I can't explain the reason why he's the only one that has that kind of you know, sound to him. Oh, I think these enemies have the red coins and I've just been ignoring them. Or maybe not. Okay. I'm not gonna waste my time if I'm... I think I can get to it. Nope. Okay, maybe he just doesn't have it. So I'm just gonna go away from him. Or maybe what I have to do... 
No, it goes too far. Oh, there we go. There we go. He does have it. You just have to be very unique when getting him. I think I have to get that Pianza to not be wet anymore. Maybe if I pull out this fire. Why is it not letting me pull? Why is it not letting me get rid of the fire? Yo, what's going on? Alright, you know what? Oh, that that bird has it. Let me get up there. Don't get away from me. No, you got away from me. Where are you? Come on. I know you have it. You stupid bird. I think if I run out of water, I end up losing. I end up failing this mission. Come on. Where, where'd you go? I know he still spawns back here. I just don't know where he is. In fact, I don't even know where any of these red coins are. I've... I will be honest, admittedly playing this, I've only done this level once prior to this. Um, that was because I actually found out about that secret spot very late into playing this game. I actually had to use a YouTube video to tell me how to get to it. Can you- I'm trying to save your life, pal. Can you please stop running? Thank you. Ooh, you saved me. Thanks a bundle. Just give me my coin. I still have to get two more. I'm pretty sure this one is under this fire that I just can't seem to get rid of. Maybe I have to be further back. Well, even so, it's not letting me... <sighs> I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. I'm already spending too much time in this episode. Give me one second, I'll be right back. I just got the last red coin. And it spawned... Over there. How am I supposed to get it? I'm gonna have to restart this level regardless because I can't get it, but like, I mean... <sighs> oh. I guess one thing that I can tell you guys because I've just learned this, do not kill the bird when it's out of bounds because that will happen. The coin won't just spawn back in bounds for you to get. Keep that in mind. I'll be back with you guys one more time because that was just painfully upsetting. Give me one more moment to get everything back together. Alright guys, after finally getting rid of that bird and being at this level for just as long as the other one, we finally got the shine sprite. Let's just go ahead and collect our spoils because honestly these two were not supposed to be that bad, but they ended up being that bad. We're never visiting them again. Okay, and what has undoubtedly only been two shines for the entire episode, it is nowhere near the same as last time, where we managed to collect seven. Although time has allotted us only so much, so we are going to end things off here, only because it was a good learning lesson for all of us, and for those who aren't familiar with this game, we're going to go ahead and just leave it at that. Because there are still a good amount of few, there are still a few more shine spots you can get in this in Isle Delfino, but we're gonna hold off on those a little bit more. We do have the opportunity now to go ahead and collect shines from the other places. If I go ahead and pull up the map, we have collected a healthy amount from everywhere. There is still just of course the one location that we're missing. We still have to collect all eight, and we've only collected six from the first four, and only four from the remaining two that we've unlocked quite fairly recently from our past journey. There are still a good amount of shines left, still a good amount of episodes, but some of these will be fun, thrilling, sad, and of course for you guys, entertaining to see me not do so great at them. But we'll see in moments time how we fare on those, because we are going to go ahead and start heading back to the old routes, original places that we visited such as of course Bianca Hills, Rico Harbor back there, and Gelato Beach, we still have to make some visits over there. We'll go ahead and take a look at those places in pretty much in the next episode along with some of the others. But to not get ahead of ourselves, we're going to go ahead and end things off here. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Do hope you enjoyed. Minor recap, we only did two shines, went to two places in Isle Delfino. Arguably the most annoying, and in my opinion, well, coming from my experience, the most un... I guess the most hidden places, I guess if that's the right way to put it. We still got the shines, it took a lot of, I guess, unorthodox methods, and of course a lot of you guys just not seeing me do it. 
because it just took so long. It would have taken like 30 minutes. But we got that out of the way. We got some more enjoyable shines to get. Yeah, but we'll start off over there where we started, back at Bianco Hills. Maybe. We'll see how that goes. So guys, this has been your boy Ron. Until next time, I'll see you guys back at the start of Isle Del of Delfino Plaza. So we can go ahead and collect more shines around the whole world of Isle Delfino. I'll see you guys then. Take care.